Hello and welcome to the Southeast Cornerstone Public School Division Edsby Parent Tutorial video. I'm going to help you navigate your new Edsby Parent account. This video will help familiarize yourself with the parent portal that Edsby provides allowing you access to your children's class information, assessment progress, and attendance at any time. While Edsby has a mobile phone app that you can download through the Apple Store or Google Play Store, it can also be accessed through a mobile browser, but for the best experience, we recommend using Edsby on a computer or iPad with the Chrome browser. Families will need to create an account by following the link in the activation email and log in with their email and user created password. Note, this includes teachers who are also parents and guardians. They must use a personal email and not their school division email to access their students' information. If you have not received an email, please contact your school's main office. On a computer, it is recommended that you access Edsby using the Chrome browser. Once you have your Chrome browser up, please go to secpsd.ca and then you can enter your parent portal. Through the parent page here, you're going to see a list of links for, for parents. Um, our Edsby link is located right here underneath your child's education. And it will bring you to a page that has some description about Edsby, as well as a couple links um, for frequently asked questions and a brief introduction to the program. To access the sign in page, click SEC PSD Edsby. From your Edsby sign-in page, you are going to add your personal email as the username, as well as your password that you created during the activation of your account. Once you are logged in as a parent, you are going to see the account setup page, and it's going to ask you for information regarding your account. Ensure that this information is correct. Um, if there is errors, you can add them into the box to notify the office. Once the information is correct, you can select I certify this information is correct. Before we begin, I just want to clarify that all the information that you will see within this tutorial video is fake information. It does not contain any real data. This is the parent homepage. Today we are going to be focusing on the classes as well as the messages. To access your messages, go to the top left of your screen and click View My Messages. Here you will see a list of conversations with you and your child's teachers. To view a message, click on the message and it will open up a discussion thread. To reply back to the teacher, you can enter your your reply down at the bottom and click send. This is where parents will receive comments from their teachers based off of student progress. To see student progress in a class, what you will do is you will go to your classes list, hover over the class you want to see and select my work. Once you are in the My Work section, please ignore the graph and enter Assessments. Once you are in Assessments, you will see a list of assessments and we're going to break this down. So first you will see Incomplete Assessments. You will see the due date for the assignment. You will see any status flags that are connected to your assignment. So this here says that the assignment is incomplete and also that it was due two weeks ago. Furthermore, you are going to see um, your graded assessments and then within your graded assessments, you are going to see um, some discussion. So if I open up this one here, you can see some discussion going on on the assessment. You can also see uh, a comment here that was attached about the assessment and the grades for the assessment. You will also see ungraded assessments here.
Another area to pay attention to in the My Work section is the Attendance tab. Attendance is done in homeroom pre-K to grade 8, whereas in high school grades 10 to 12, it is done per class.